Hey, Sean Jantz here. I'm going to do a quick trade plan for Thursday, December 3rd. And I'm going to do it on Slash ES, which is the S&P 500 and the other indices that you can find on Nadex. And I'm going to start here on the S&P. And every single evening, I like to start here on the four hour chart or what I like to call the bird's eye view. And as far as a day trader goes, the four hour chart is the most important chart to understand is what is our bias on this chart? Are we overbought, oversold or are we at equilibrium? A little bit of a recap. Here's all time high. The market cycled down into the middle blue Keltner. Today, we saw a little bit of a cycle back up into all time high. And we're currently building from it looks like currently, right? Could absolutely change in any time. But we're currently building a nice little potential four hour candle sell trigger here. You can see how the bears have kind of clearly stated their position here, cycle down, cycle up, and we're starting the momentum uh, for this to cycle back down, right? And so some good targets would be somewhere around 36.50. You get through that and you're looking at 36.25 to 3600. If the market were to reverse and continue breaking up into new all-time highs, I won't be trading up here. There's no structure. If you want to look for sell triggers, have at it. Just understand lower probability of success because there's no basis of resistance. And when you move here to the 15 day, 15 minute plot chart, no more indicators. And what we're looking for here is just structure. We're looking for the best places to buy, the best places to sell. We're looking for support resistance, supply and demand zones. And what I always do is I start exactly where price is and then I start planning and visualizing. What am I going to do or not do at every single level if this market goes higher tomorrow? And then what am I going to do or not do? if it continues to go lower. So let's first talk about if it goes higher, I already kind of touched on it. There's no structure up here, okay? So you do have some deviations where you can look for some change control uh, sell triggers. Obviously the market goes higher, it's gonna be crazy severely overbought. Just understand lower probability of success. There's no basis, there's no structure up here, okay? To the downside, this market has a decent opportunity for 80% roll, the value rate box is healthy. And so obviously the market wants to cycle lower. So that's the key to 80% rolls is you want the birds I view cycling through the box, right? And so I wouldn't sell just yet. I would continue to wait for some more strength and then hold pull back, mental stop, entry, and then obviously lock and trail for value rate lower that negative 0.5. Here, this would qualify for first demand pocket. Clearly the bulls saw value there today. Just understand if you buy right here, you're still buying a pretty severely overbought chart. So if you do anything, make it quick and there better be good change control because if this market gets through this, we already kind of touched on here's all the targets here. Um, and then this would, for me, this would probably be my favorite place to look for change control. And then you got the negative one and a half and or the negative two. NQ is almost identical, healthy box to the downside, same types of structure. YM is a little different. It has structure at the plus 0.5, no structure at the plus one. This also has a decent opportunity for 80% roll, as you can see. I like the demand pockets on the negative one and the negative one and a half. And then you got RTY, almost identical to YM, looks very similar, also has the opportunity um, for 80% rule as well, pockets of demand there, and this has pretty good structure at the plus 0.5. So don't forget, we also have deviations on the three major Forex pairs. You can see that right here. So make sure that you're taking pictures of all of your trades. Use the four-step trading process and post the bird's eye view, the worm's eye view, and the trade stamp in the BGG Trader Tribe so that you can get feedback from me and from others.